So a while ago, I asked you about your ties to the military and Operation Vet now really wanted to get involved with snow bikers specifically in the snow cross series and um, even more specifically snow bikers that had ties to veterans and the US military. You responded and told me that you did have ties. So if you don't mind just sharing a little bit about those ties and what it means to you. Yeah, absolutely. So we have uh, a cousin of ours that served over in Afghanistan and he was one of the lead guys that would always go into the buildings and he was kind of the brunt force of, Hey, we're going into this place and we're going to take this guy down or we're just going to clear the building. And, uh, one story that, you know, he was able to tell us after he was serving as he was coming out of a building and, you know, they had just cleared everything and they were coming back out into an alleyway that they had been in. And right when he creeped around the corner, a sniper shot and it bounced off his helmet and wow. took off part of his ear. And he wow. immediately went back into the building and radioed in that eight, hey, you know, just got hit by a sniper. And then, you know, they bombed the building after it. And so, you know, for military ties that, you know, <laughs> kind of tugged at your heartstrings when your cousin comes home and he tells you that story after, yeah. you know, five years out of, you know, he, it took him that long to be able to say, you know, this is what happened over there. Right. So, you know, yeah. he, he did a lot of good while he was there. And, you know, I, we always thank him for his service. We're just happy that he's here today with us. Yeah, that is that was a close call. Like he got really lucky. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty wow. crazy. And, you know, I got not military side, but we've had a couple different friends that have been on the police force and that kind of thing that have been in some crazy situations. So, you know, I just thank all the vets and everyone out there that that's been able to go out and keep it safe for all of us here at home. Yeah. So Operation Vet now really focuses on mental health awareness for veterans. Um, how do you think that ties into your cousin? Like, did he come home? Like you said, it took him a while to share his story. Um, has, has his mental health evolved in a good way? Um, is there, are there better ways that he could be serviced? Um, after his service uh like what kind of things do you think relate to his mental health yeah absolutely you know i think he's one of the lucky ones as far as you know being able to share one of those memories with us obviously it takes a little time but you know that was a scare of a lifetime but as far as you know ptsd or anything like that i think he's he's fairly lucky that you know he's got a fairly open family and supportive i'm not saying that other military families aren't supportive, but sometimes it's tough for people to open up about all that stuff. And so, you know, on his side of things, I think his mental health is, you know, good. pretty good on that mm -hmm. side of things. But I know that, you know, on the mental health side, I know that it takes a while for people to notice. Right. And, you know, I think on that side, I think that every, everything that they're doing for that side of things that I'm sure that it helps out a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. And and that's the whole uh, message that the Be There campaign that they're a part of is really trying to get at just just calling someone or texting someone and, and making that relationship function in a way that, you know, veterans can feel like they, sh they can share anything and specifically the most important things, you know, about uh, their well-being. So uh, thank you so much for sharing your yeah. story with us. Um, and on behalf of myself and OVN, thank you to your cousin for his service. Yeah, absolutely. I'll make sure to let him know.